All right, what's up everybody? We are on episode 11 of Attack on Titan and I think this time around I'm not gonna do too much talking in advance. Last episode I already did a major kind of review for even though the episode itself wasn't even necessarily that eventful, right? Like I said, it was all about that negotiation happening, Armin shining as the real hero of the story, <laughs> in a way. Um, and now we have this short-term objective with the boulder, of course, that I talked about. Um, we have Eren, who I guess now joins with the superpower of being able to turn into uh, a titan if he wants to. And uh, yeah, that's basically it, right? Like, I'm just curious to see where this all goes now. It's uh, the episode title is called Icon. It still says the Battle for Trust Part 7. So I don't know if that's something that's going to be normal with this show, is that there's going to be all these battles, but they will last many uh, episodes or something. Um, I remember being already kind of a little bit confused when we got to like part four of it, but here we are already at uh, basically the seventh episode that still marks this Battle for Trust, right? So these battles, yeah, they probably will end up being quite epic um in the remainder of the of the show moving forward as well but that being said um yeah of course i've got a patron where you can already get early access to the next three episodes 12 13 and 14 as well as full-length reactions if you're interested in that linked on top of the description make sure you subscribe to the channel of course for these reactions i post them mondays and fridays um and that being said let's get into the episode I mean, that uh, Titan he turned into is particularly terrifying. I will say. More so than others we've seen. Yeah, I can already tell I have way more respect for Pixis than I do for that other guy next to him right here. <laughs> he was purely acting on like emotion and uh... Honestly, he was just scared, you know? Which is an understandable emotion to feel in that moment, obviously, because... Yeah, what do you do when you see that uh, somebody here is just turning into a titan? Uh... It's not like they ever had to deal with a situation like that, obviously. So, once again, I'll cut him slack for that, but uh, you might have noticed I'm not usually the one to root for characters that are just acting on their uh, more negative emotions all the time, you know what I mean? <laughs><笑><笑> I think Pixis is more of a risk taker. Pixis is he talking about some of the soldiers, or what is he talking about? But I'm wondering if all of them like signed up for this or if some of them were also kind of forcefully, you know, they forcefully had to join. Uh, so I guess Aaron really was talking about um, people kind of trying to uh, rise up and protest within the uh, survey corps itself. <laughs> he just saw them like focus. Oh, 
This Aaron really thinks he's something already, or what? <laughs> uh, of course he, uh, he would drink. Actually, didn't Hannes and his soldiers also uh, drink all the time? この a top secret project, but like, does Pixis know about it then or something? Or did he already? Or was he just convinced? Ah, right. Yeah, so form a small group to just focus on the objective itself and the rest just for distraction purposes. So they're talking about the soldiers. So they're just scared that they're gonna run off. Well, this guy surely will. <laughs> uh, you just gotta promise Sasha that there's like food on the other side. <laughs> She'll be motivated enough.今この this guy sure can give an epic speech. Honestly, I don't know what my expectations should be right now. As in whether they will succeed in their mission or not. Because honestly, I kind of have a feeling that eventually the entire place like i don't know i have a feeling like it's not yeah maybe even in the first season already that they will be able to get all the way to the center basically the titans and that probably eventually they're gonna have to just move out and you know survive in the world itself i guess but i don't know I was going to say, what other choice do you really have? I wonder if we're still going to see this mission in this episode. Because it's not that much longer left. エレン、やはり私も。ついてくるなんて言うなよ。お前は大鳥舞台に配属されたんだろ。でも、エレンも一人に。いや、だ、ウッドンビーだ。一人になった。ファーストタイム、ノーザラストタイム、シーウッドセ
Even Mikasa can't beat that skill, but... She is still the most badass soldier. Oh, damn. It's, it's kind of like, um, reminds me of Walking Dead or something. You know? And it just lured those zombies to the gate or whatever. それは私たちの同僚や先輩や後輩の兵士たちだ。当然兵士である以上、死は覚悟の上だ。だがな、彼らは物言わぬ駒じゃない。そのことを甘えた心に刻め、そして死ぬ気で責任を果たせ。はい
Aaron and Mikasa and Armin, they really signed up for this, right? And then they basically had to do this uh, when they kind of were in the training sessions or whatever, right? They could get into the top 10 and that would dictate whether they could join either the military police then uh, or just go with the survey corps, right? Um, all these people here that we see have obviously been assigned f to the survey corps. But yeah, I, I, they still had to sign up for the whole training and stuff, right? Or is that not the case? I'm not sure. And then again, it's also understandable, obviously, that once they finally face these titans and they have to deal with this thing they've been signing up for now, actually, like, face-to-face, -face, basically, right? Um, suddenly, motivations can change and people uh, might get this realization that, like, oh, yeah, is this really what I wanted? Because um, obviously it is quite a scary task. Um that being said, I guess there is kind of one more thing that I would want to speculate about, or it made me... I'm not sure really what caused me to um, think about this anymore, but I was kind of thinking just in general about, okay, right, that was it. Is this mission going to succeed, right? Because um, I was thinking like, okay, this is kind of a short-term objective. This is our mission right now. This one, this might be the first time they actually succeed. But that being said, I think that secretly kind of deep down, I've always expected so far that this entire area, and I'm not sure if there's a, a name for it really, but just this entire, these three rings that we've had basically from the start, right? And one already, of course, fell. But um, it's kind of destined to eventually, uh, yeah, for, for basically the entire place to just fall. I th That's what I would personally think. I think that this story setup of having these three walls and one, of course, then being overtaken in the first couple episodes, it's just kind of screaming for, okay, eventually those titans are going to be able to overtake it completely. Um, and that's where our, you know, our characters will be just forced to survive out in the real world or in the, in the outer world, I guess, right? Um, and that's obviously also what Aaron himself already had been hinting at from the very start where he was talking about, okay, I want to see what's beyond the walls, right? I want to see what's out there and stuff like that. And I'm assuming even greater threats will be, um, yeah, will be there and uh, uh, will have to face. So I'm not, like right now, if I had to make kind of a prediction, then I would think maybe by the end of the first season could already be when that happens. Um, but again, that's just kind of purely me uh, basing that on gut feeling. Um, I have no knowledge of this whatsoever. So um, yeah, I mean, maybe we will stay basically in this area for a much longer time uh, or maybe even for the entire duration of the show. I have no idea, honestly. Um, I'm just kind of thinking that, yeah, the entire basically setup, the entire premise of what this whole thing is, is basically screaming to me that like eventually all three uh, walls are going to fall. Um, but yeah, like I said, this was episode 11. It was a bit more of a setup episode. Next episode, uh, we're going to see whether they will succeed in their objective and what the hell is up with Aaron there out of nowhere punching Mikasa and kind of maybe turning evil or something. I'm not sure. Um, but for now, I very much look forward to that. And uh, I'm assuming episode 12 could be a pretty big one. So looking forward to it. Of course, once again, you can support me on Patreon where you'll be able to get the next three episodes, which is 12, 13 and 14 already right now. You can watch them right away. Um, as well as full-length reactions uh, linked in the, uh, on top of the description. And then for now, thank you all for uh, tuning in. Let me know your thoughts, of course, in the comments, and I will see you in the next one.